regime, you've created this play, The Monster at the Door. So talk about monsters and uh, what, what, what this means to you. Well, you know, I was, uh, I was writing kind of a, a more naturalistic play uh, in early drafts about a year and a half ago or so. And I had this dream uh, on one night about Godzilla. And uh, it was like, I was like in a room in an apartment with like the characters from the play. And Godzilla was outside like tearing the city apart. And, and it made me think about like how, how much I, I grew up loving Godzilla and Godzilla movies. And, um, and, and as I grown older and learned more about, you know, the kind of modern myth of Godzilla and how, how that, that, uh, that he is a creation of a kind of anxiety that formed in Japan. World War II um, as a result of the nuclear holocaust. And, um, and that led me down a path of examining monsters and cultures that I thought was really interesting about why do we have monsters, why does monster imagery uh, crop up in almost every sort of mythology around the world, and what, what does that mean? What, why, why do we create um, images of monsters in art? Why do we create monsters and stories? And the more I studied them, the more it seemed to me that, you know, monsters are a part of... Um, uh, of looking at ourselves and at our culture, and when, when, when things happen, and when, uh, in terms of like that kind of go against the, the, the natural order of things, when um, when when, it, when when some calamity befalls us that creates a sort of anxiety about the world we live in, about who we are as as human beings on this planet. Um, that's I think that the kind of grotesque outcropping of that is, is, a, is the creation of a monster and um, and that I've always enjoyed monsters I've always I've always thought they were cool right and so I always thought okay well this is an interesting you know thing for me to write about and the more I studied it the more it seemed less about like just something that was disgusting and gross or um, something that like I followed in slasher movies and, and more actually a, a, a part of you know kind of examining the human condition so this horror movies and monsters or something that's really positive for us to look at. Absolutely. And I think so. I mean, it's obviously they're not for everyone, and uh, but I think that, like, for me personally, once I was able to look at some of the movies that I grew up life and loving and, and more modern films that I've always enjoyed um, with the kind of lens of uh, of this play over it, then I started reading these movies in a new way. So what are, what are some of your favorite horror movies and monster movies that you grew up watching? Well, growing up, you know, I, I, my, I, my parents didn't let me see a lot of monster movies, so I was able to kind of scratch out the kinds that I could see on, on Saturday morning television, which were generally of Godzilla films. Um, and I, I remember being close to obsessed with Godzilla when I was younger, um, Godzilla and King Kong. Um, and, uh, and as I grew older, I, I became really interested in, like, you know, Dracula, Frankenstein, The Mummy, all those kind of um, movies that, and, and stories and comic books that, that came out of that. And then, um, and then in, you know, the, the Dracula movie that I've come to really adore is the Francis Ford Coppola, Bram Stoker's Dracula, that um, I've watched kind of obsessively in the course of writing this, uh, this play. Not that the play has anything to do with Dracula, but um, there's something about the way he created that movie and the way he created a new sort of Dracula and a different stylized version of the story that we all knew uh, was fascinating to me. And so, um, and then I, that partly also because of this, this play, I started really examining apocalyptic stories um, and apocalyptic movies in which like, there's basically like one last person on the face of the earth or uh, a situation in which we see the earth you know, dying off. And I think that these are all actually kind of a generalized anxiety of, of, of people today anyhow. I, mean, we, I, think that, I think a lot of people in the back of their minds consider the end of the world on a regular basis. And so part of this play is examining that.